Today, Abu Ghraib prison houses people convicted of drug-related offences. Yet Iraqis have not forgotten what happened there 20 years ago under American military control. The prison represents a great injustice that befell our tribe. Thousands of members of my tribe and Iraqis were taken to the prison with no justification. They were exposed to different types of torture and attacked their psyche to be stripped of their clothes and placed in degrading positions. He hopes that justice will be served. A member of his tribe, maintaining a low profile until the verdict, is one of three plaintiffs in a U.S. trial against the private military company, which oversaw interrogations at the time. He symbolizes hope for thousands of Iraqis wrongfully detained between 2003 and 2006. Taleb El Majli spent one year and four months at Abu Ghraib and has never fully recovered from the experience. These ID cards indicate the section where I was kept in prison. On my hand, this was due to my psychological state. I started biting them. I started with my fingers, then my wrists, and then the other hand. It's a psychological illness. Profoundly changed by the torture he claims to have endured, he has also faced social stigma. In Iraq, the abuses inflicted at Abu Ghraib are seen as a source of shame, even for the victims. For him, this trial would serve as recognition, at least symbolically, of his suffering. I just want my dignity back, and if they could apologize, because this injustice is consuming me. For 20 years, all attempts to file complaints against the U.S. government, protected by an immunity agreement, have come to nothing. This lawyer, who campaigns against mistreatment in prisons, thinks a favorable verdict for the plaintiffs in this trial would be historic. We may be facing a new situation where we have the right to sue the companies or individuals in their own countries and legal systems. This would serve as a means to prevent criminals from evading justice. This trial could open the door to other legal action, he says, though remains cautious. A few months ago, an American jury failed to reach a verdict during the first attempt at a trial.